Hello everyone, today we'll be showing you a very cool demo composed of Rancher Desktop, Microsoft Visual Studio Code, our real and nice BCI container image, and the very cool remote containers from Microsoft. So get ready. Let's start with Rancher Desktop. Rancher Desktop is a software that provides you with container management and Kubernetes on your desktop. Rancher Desktop works on Apple, Windows, and Linux. Why using Rancher Desktop? Because as I told you, it offers you container management, so you can build, push, and pull your containers. You have a nice and easy way to interact with Kubernetes. You have your own local Kubernetes environment, and it is built on projects like K3S, QCTL, and more known projects. It will make the way you interact with Kubernetes easy and simple. You'll see. Now it's time to introduce SUSE container images. So our base container image or BCI based on SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 15. This is a low footprint, secure image. You can pull it with Podman, with Docker, whatever tool you want. It is supported on many different architectures as you can see here in the, in the web page and it's definitely going to make your life easier. Now, the Visual Studio Code Remote Containers extension. This is a very cool feature from Visual Studio Code. This allows you to set up a Docker container as a local development environment, so you can run the same environment wherever you need. So basically, you connect your local environment with a container and you share the code in that container and run it there. To do this, we're going to use this chart made by Matt Farina, our engineer. And afterwards, we'll use this Hello World application made in Go. First of all, let's deploy the application using the Helm chart. So let's go to install with the chart we saw in the repo. So Helm install, name whatever you want, parameters and content of the chart. Now we are going to forward the port so we can access the application. It's a Hello World web application. So accessing the local port 8080, we'll see that says Hello Rancher Desktop. That's okay. Now let's go into move on to the real code of the application. So let's open code, Visual Studio Code, from our repo. So just code the path and it opens. We'll see that offers the option to run is a container. This is what I introduced you previously, the remote container feature, so you can use a container as a development environment. So we just need to add this dev container folder that contains a JSON and a Docker file that will be used in the, let's say, development container we pop up. So here in the terminal, we have the container. We can do an ls, and now we're going to run our application. So it's a go application, go run, whatever, and it's going to start. And when it starts, Visual Studio Code, it will de detect that it's running on the background and offers you to open the browser. So easy, simple, and very nice. Now, let's change the application. We need, for instance, instead of saying, hello, Rancher Desktop, we need that it says, hello, world. So we're going to change it here directly, and we're going to run the container again, this time in the book mode. And you're going to see that offers again to open the browser, and now it says, voila, 
hello world so it can't be easier you can use that same container for any environment you use but there's another docker file is outside the, that previous dev container folder and this is a common docker file that is going to run a scratch container with this very same application and we are going to see the difference when we build a new image using that docker file so we're building the version 2020 we build a container and now if we check the images, we're going to see something amazing. The Visual Studio Code, let's say development container is huge. Why is huge? Because it needs a lot of libraries and stuff that is included there. However, let's see our scratch container. It's just six megs. It's tiny. It's very, very, very small. Now, what we're going to do is to update our Helm chart. You remember, we deployed the Helm chart. So we're going to deploy our Helm chart with this new container we built, or with this Im image we built, sorry. We're going to tag it with the proper tag, and we're going to see that the application runs again, and again, it's the new application. It will say again, hello world, instead of hello Rancher desktop. So basically, what I'm showing you here, it's a very easy to have environments on different, let's say, tools with different solutions to run and test your software. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoy this demo.